Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Do not install Easy VoIP Recorder. It's just a nuisance. Uh, it breaks your Skype installation, at least it did for us. Okay, so what I did eventually is I went to Administrative Tools and I went to Services, and lo and behold, I found that Easy VoIP Recorder had been started. I've already stopped it, so that should allow me to turn it off or delete it. So hopefully it will now allow me to delete it. So here's the command. Great. Let's see if I can delete it. Properties. Uh, easy to report. Dependencies. No dependencies. No dependencies, recovery, take no action. <sighs> well, I'm going to disable it. General. And disable. All right, so I'm going to disable it all. Oh, I don't want it started. Stop it. Okay, and apply. Maybe I can just get away with uh, not, or just turning it off, and maybe Skype will work now. So let's try that. Again, the idea here is that we get Skype to work. But uh, given all the troubles I've, or the errors I've had with the Skype and the easy VoIP recorder, Sign in. Please work. Please work. Is it working? Sounds like it's working. Uh, now, the question is whether or not it will work when I close all this. Uh, so let's close that. Okay, and I can close that. And now, exit, quit, quit, and now we'll try again, see if it loads again. Test, test, test. Looks like it's going to work. All right, so the uh, what I did was I went into administrative tools and then into uh, and I went to services and then I shut down easy view IP recorder that seems to be the trick to get uh, Skype to work with easy view IP recorder bug don't install easy view IP recorder didn't work anyway thanks for watching and have a computing